Hello, folks. Welcome back. We are on Westland. We're heading to the Spirit Caves. So apparently, in the last update, which was re-updated because we now have... Um, where do I see this? I don't know. Oh, way down at the very bottom. 0.16.4. So I guess it's probably just a little glitch update or something like that. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, the spirit caves have changed the way they work a little bit. Um, we used to get a seal piece, I guess. Yeah, a seal piece for every cave that we uh, completed. And then you would take those four seal pieces and you would then form a full seal. Today, oh, I forgot to take off my arm. Uh, today, or now, with this new update, uh, that doesn't work that way anymore. So we want to kind of figure out a little bit on how that works. Um, I'm using just uh, the regular old guns. I had a whole bunch of healing supplies with us. And we'll probably get some more along the way. So I'm not too, too worried about that. I just want to use up some of the lesser guns that we have at our base. Kind of make some room, things like that. And we'll open up a few of these chests as we make our way to the innermost area. I'll bring water. Chromite ore, or not chromite ore, um, tin ore. That's actually the first time I've seen that. Um, why don't I get a little bit of a heal on? Just because this guy's going to get a few hits off on us. Due to the gun that we're using. Oh, you got one. Nice. And, yeah, so like I said, we're going to continue. With, okay. Regular fur. That's new stuff. What's in this chest? Anything good? Good, good, good. Um, not really. We don't really need tin ore, so let's try to sneak up on one of these guys here. There we are. Really at the damage that we take. So they have 400 health. That seems to be normal. I don't mind that. Ooh, thank you. And we also... Let me think about this for a second. I think we would only get, um, what was it, the Wanikia? Yeah, the Wanikia from the final boss as well. So I don't know if that has changed. But we shall soon find out. A few little sneak attacks. No, 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 don't hit me again. You only get to hit me once. Once is enough. So, let's use another one of these. Um, I'll bring this along. Empty water bottles. Regular fur. Eh. That is better than grass. Oh. Thank you at least for that, devs. Take care of you. Oh no, my weapon broke. All right, we'll just we'll just punch this guy out, and we'll use the next lowest tier. I just brought, oops, put that one there. I just brought a bunch of different guns to hopefully get through the first cave, kind of see what it's all about. Like that, and we should. Be able to sneak up on Ghost a little bit here. Get a few shots off on him. He'll get a hit. Just one, I hope. Thank you. Hmm. I don't know if the chest have changed in terms of appearance. But, apparently, we should find a seal here. No. Do I have to... 
Okay, no. Because if you're new to the spirit cave, you actually have to get all the little different heads not to put on the altar. So we already have that. And we're good to go. So, cave number one. What do you hold for me? It better be get some good loot. Bets should be. Let's go get ourselves a friendly little uh, helper. And start making our way through the first. I was going to say the first floor. Oh, you get caught up on him. Oh, no, no, no. Ooh, let me heal up here. And you dropped us a glue scab. Thank you. All right, let's get some heals in. And we'll start off pretty up there in health. Gonna have to worry less about that as we go along. Wolves, and we take care of them. Easy peasy. Same thing here. Shut off. Wolves are gonna intercept them. And we just take care of them. So that's the use of spirit points, which brings me back to the last video on Westland with the update video. And the fact that we can increase infinitely the armor, right? So this is a level three. So obviously we still have to get to level five. This is a level five. This, hold on, I got one here that's, I thought I had one that's a level seven, but level six. So every time after you get to the max, well, max, it, it air quotes the old max used to be level five so once you get to that that gives you kind of all the perks in terms of defense you know run speed things like that for armor and then damage attack speed things like that for weapons now with this update what we can do is we can increase these levels where do i have level six where's that level six at we have a leather jacket that's level six so every time you get a blueprint, um, and if it's something you already have, already up to max level five, every level after that will add either a defense point or a damage point, making um, the possibility of having this lower tier armor, right? A straw hat, a shirt, pants, and boots, having those rival the stats of this stuff. I mean, kind of crazy because uh, the jacket gives us 245 damage protection or defense. Whereas that little shirt, for now, mine at level four gives us 23. But you could technically open up um, blueprints over and over again and kind of work your way up to that meaning that you could then take your skill points that we have over here right plus 56 on damage plus 17 on speed plus 22 on armor so we could actually take those 22 points re I don't know re-roll them or just you know, take those, you know, and put them to something else. So that's going to open up uh, quite a bit of opportunities. You know, if you get, like, I don't know, just maybe enough spirit points to tame, like, the, 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 the most... Sorry about that starter there. But, like, the most powerful an uh, animals in the game, that would be kind of... Okay, she's gonna stand here, she goes, come on, whoops. Good job. We'll do the same thing with this guy. Give him a shot. He's gonna kill one of our wolves yet. Ooh, when he came after me, instead of the other wolf. Ooh, that's new. Let's loot some of these skeletons. Mm, empty water. 
No thank you. Watch. I, uh, listen, it's not great. But it's not grass and cloth. Oh shoot. Um, let's get our next gun. Go. Oh, I thought, I thought you were dead. Move this stuff up here. Once we get to the Lamonts, it's going to just be a murder fest. But until then, we'll play around with some other guys. Oh, two shots. Thank you. So there is definitely potential coming, you know, as we continue to get blueprints, continue to add those up, uh, we will definitely get some strong guns. Oh, could you imagine? Do I have... Oh, no. Well, we can go in here. The S&W2. Right? Way down at the bottom here. This bad boy right here. As a level 5, does 912 damage per shot. So imagine at a certain point getting that up to a thousand, then 1100, 1200, 1500 damage. I mean, that's just going to be crazy. That's years and years down the road. But still, that potential is there. Ooh, we'll take that. And then the same thing with, like I said, the armor. You can have level one armor that will eventually rival, uh, you know, that, that top tier sheriff stuff, which is going to be kind of, uh, kind of amazing on its own. Oh, I guess we're boxing this guy to finish him off. Oh, one more, one more. We will get our next gun gonna last us a little bit longer than the rest of these band-aids we'll use those up and continue making our way through here one at a time two shot these guys now nice and easy we just place that on yet we don't even have to turn and burn Yeah, we're going to continue this way. Oh, I just said I don't have to turn and burn. What do I do? Turn and burn! Ay. Ay, caramba. Hmm. We'll leave the furs alone. Yup, 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 yup. It'd be nice if we actually got blueprints out of the dungeon. Or not the dungeon, spirit caves. That would be an awesome reward in my book. Ooh, I thought, I thought acre, an acre. Um, you know, you kind of clear maybe like level one through, I don't know, three, and you kind of get a guaranteed um, blueprint or something like that. Oh, back to the grass. Hey need any of that corn thank you and get ourselves a bear a nice slow poke get a bear stick him good bear get him bear yeah. tag team Oh, he got a hit off on me? How dare you? That's so rude. Keep my bear alive. Now, we actually do have a boss, or mini boss, in this section. So, we're gonna put our armor on. We're gonna use our good guns. Oh, bear, there you go. Dang, we get criticals with this stuff it's not even funny not even funny I mean I think Piazza with the help of our bear I get what one hit maybe two eat that and get to looting mini boss room B9 
be nice. We'll use up band-aids until we get full on health. Otherwise. Okay. It's back to dropping some healing stuff. I mean food. Yeah, it's uh, you know, it's jerky. It takes away our thirst. That's why I actually kept that the full water bottle from earlier. Just so that uh, we get to using the jerky. We have some backup uh, thirst. So yeah, jute. No thank you. These chests. Ah. I mean, jute is a step up from grass. But, okay. Listen, it's still stuff that I don't need. But the lower levels, newer players could definitely utilize some of this stuff. Uh, I'll grab that. We will actually grab the clothing. We'll grab the, uh, the weapon as well. Now, make our way back. The bear is going to fall behind. We're barefoot in a cave. We're out running a bear. Uh, makes me laugh. So before heading to that room, we're going to continue down here. Oh, we came from here. Is there not another direction? I think there was. At a certain point, I went one way, and we had two. Oh no, there was an extra room. That's it. This is what we wanted to do. So we'll clear out the second mini boss. Gee, I don't think he got a head off on us. I think our gun was fast enough. Nope, got a hit. <laughs> Dang it. I'd be a little too overconfident. Whole bunch of healing supplies. Well, food wise, at least. But it's all stuff that takes away our thirst. Thirst minus two. Thirst minus two. And we're starting to get a little on the thirsty side, anyways. It's kind of. Mm. Dropping a lot of tributes. I like seeing that. No. Agree. You do. Adios. All right, bear. You made it. Good. Thank you. Thanks for showing up. I appreciate the support. You're the best backup a cowboy could ever have. Um, so we are getting thirsty. I think I might kind of try to stave it off a little bit with some corn. Oh, shoot. And some cacti uh, fruit. Just so that we can... All right, where are you at, mini boss? Oh shoot, I forgot to put on, forgot to put on the clothes and the good gun. But I think we should be able to get pretty much through this. Yeah, there we go. Thanks, bear. And as usual, we will loot the little skeletons first. All right, more food. So with the new. I guess food, yeah, healing supplies. I would strongly encourage you to bring some water with you because we're getting a lot of empty water bottles, but very few full. Uh, sulfur, I've got plenty of. So, all right, let's have her water. We'll do that for now. That will help us, and like I said, we'll continue using uh, cord cacti fruit because I think cacti fruit gives us 15 yeah 15 thirst so that will be good what do we have here uh, I will take the full durability stuff uh, the tomahawk eh. uh, listen we get a spot for it right now something else comes up we'll leave that behind uh, that, that, that 
Agastash. It's only one. We need three to make a potion. The other thing also is that I will come back later because we are obviously full right now. So there's going to be some stuff we're going to leave behind. So I'll have to come back and get that stuff after the video. But so far, we're doing pretty good. Pretty good. Um, I haven't noticed any significant changes in terms of like the health of the enemies, the damage they do. And if you have plenty of food, healing supplies, things like that, you can basically do this, you know, with, with guns. Or, I mean, listen, we can use... Actually, we'll finish off using this gun. And then we will use the tomahawk a little bit where we can. Hey, bear. Thanks for showing up, buddy. Took you long enough. There we go. That's broken. So we'll, we'll use the tomahawk. Made as well. Come here, ghost. Please stop my bear. Thank you. Oh, dang. My bear's dead. No. You killed my bear. How dare you. So, that gives us an opportunity to use a little bit of corn. And try to get a sneak attack off on this ghost. It will help with the tomahawk. There we are. I might have to use a heal as we're going through this. Yeah, I'm not going to take a chance. There we are. At the same time, we will free up some extra space. I was just looking at the rest of our guns and it's like, hmm, not much left on the, on the two that we're going to use next. But they are high damage. So, fish. These, these guys farmers? Two of them had corn. Come at me, ghost. Oh, we're gonna have to heal on that one. Got the sneak attack. It's a lot of damage we gotta get through and that we gotta take. Let's uh, continue. We'll have one of those. We'll have one of these. And take care of this ghost. I think our tomahawk is done after this. Oh, during this. Ooh, heal. Gun. Please, thank you. Go away. What do we have else? So we got the spike mace. 136 on that one. 136. Let's use the gun on this guy. And then we will use the spike mace on the other guy because we can get a sneak attack. He is the one that's got a little bit of damage to it. Mm -hmm. Eh, this way. Sneak attack incoming. And this room is nice because we get the big chest. And we don't actually have to deal with a mini boss. There we go. Uh, so where are we at? Those, oh, I love the that from the previous update. The fact when you check a, a chest, it turns gray. I still love that. That is so much appreciated. But I didn't know which chest I was still looking to open. Okay. Um, we'll start picking up some of this stuff. Turkey. And we might. Oh, band aids. Thank you. Free heals. Loving it. Oh, more free heals. Not a lot of healing, but it's there. Holy cow. The jerky is real. I kind of don't want to use it because our, it depletes our thirst so bad. We're almost at the end. Almost at the end. What you got for me? You got a bottle of water? Mm, no. All right. So... 
this stuff is broken, well, broken down, in a sense. It's used. And so is this. So we'll keep the full durability stuff. We'll just wear this stuff for the rest of the run. Hmm. Sounds like a plan to me. Oh, I can only get one wolfie. All right. One's better than none. Now, that's a whole bunch of bakery. Come at me, bro. You're my wolf. I'm gonna take you guys down. Well, this is one of the advantages of having, again, the uh, spirit level or points so that you can get some of these. You can actually do a lot of the uh, spirit cave with melee. As you see, well, we pushed our luck with one wolf, but we still can, you know what, let's uh, start looking at freeing up some room. Oh, that hate three. Uh, he's doing the, doing the running man. Thank you. So, so far, the Wanikia we have not found. I don't think that's changed. We probably will only get that from the end. But as we continue to make our way through here, we can take care of some of these more acres. Oh no. Just wanted one of you. Oh, we still finagle. No hits. But that's with the guns. If we were using melee, that uh, would have been rough. Now let's keep, I think. Pretty much, yeah, we're at the end now. So, the Lamont will come out here in a second. Um, let's heal. Let's put you in this spot. Because one gun, this is going to shoot and break. Ooh, there we go. Is this the fast load shotgun? Yeah, it's awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Nope. Buddy. Actually, why don't I do this? We'll save kind of the last hit. Oh, can I... Oh, double hits. Double hits. I love the area of effect shotgun. Yeah, why did I put that there? We're not even using it. Um, do we have one more to get to? Yeah, right over here. So actually, just in case it does break. Do we? Here, you get a swap. Boop. Now. Heal. Big gun. And move that up there, move that there. A little bit of juking and some jiving. So, let's have some corn, get our thirst up so we don't have to worry about that during the fight. And get our health up. That's good enough. I'm going to loot a few of these while we can. There, that's even better for our health. Holy cow. So they definitely, like I said, increased the drops. What do we have? Ooh, 1150. We're gonna hold on to that. Hold on to that for after the fight. Nope. It is going to be time to kill somebody, but I don't need a watch to tell me that. All right. Okay. Do we have Zedze Bonda? So this guy, actually. Boop. It's pretty easy, even with melee. Oh, okay. So, with melee, what you do is you basically wait to, for him to show up. He's going to area of effect, and you slap him. Is he doing damage to me? Nope. And you just rinse him. Oh, he did, he hit, did hit me. Not that time, though, buddy. Oh, got caught. I got caught. 
but like I said, you can actually do this pretty easy. You just run back and forth, slap them, and let them get that off. Slap them again, and just it, it, it'll take a while, but it's fairly easy to do. You get 80 damage. Oh, you get a hit off. They just do make sure you have some healing supplies. Oh no, that was a big bomb. Let's get him back over here. Come on, buddy. Oh no, no, no. Oh, we're gonna go back to the gun for a second. Where the where this we'll break this gun. Right there. And we'll grab that again. No, no, no. Come on, come on. There you go. So we're doing 80 damage to him every time. Like I said, it will take some time. But you can do this first cave without um, having to worry about this guy. They, they give you the weaponry. In the chest to take care of him so oh oh dang it you juke me buddy you juke me but not this time I got gotcha. you ho, ho, ho. sometimes you oh I could have sometimes when he does that big uh, big power bomb you can actually get in there and get a hit Go. Free hit. Thank you. Ooh, he did a double on us. Uh -uh. Oh, oh, mistimed. But as you can see, with the armor that you get from the chests, the weapons, and, you know, yes, I could be using different healing supplies. But, you know, we're going to get this guy. He's down to 240 health. I did use a gun. I know. I'm gonna get a couple heals in here just to hurry this up. There we go. And he's done. And we get a full seal. Wow. Um, it's an enchantment level one. And we get a Winikia. So that hasn't changed. But we do get a full seal. Meaning. Hmm, my brain's going here for a second. So does that mean that we get one for every cave? Meaning that we can get four. Ooh, stockpile seals. That's interesting. Interesting. Let's toss that there for a minute. Like I said, we'll pick this stuff up at a later time use corn for now and I'll forget that spot as well let's do the little chest first and we'll get to the big ones the big boys uh, okay so this is the medium guy we can call him large that extra large for the other one Okie dokie. I mean, it's okay stuff. But this is the chest we want to open. This is the one that we come after. And, huh. We say, meh. They were definitely better before. Um, can I not delete that? Oh, there we go. Delete the jute. How much damage does that do? Hundred, even less than what we're using. All right, I'll grab the clothes and we'll come back. I do have a few things I want to pick up, and that's that. So, hmm, that final chest, less than impressive. It used to be a lot better, but it is what it is. So now, if we wanted to, 
we could come over here, we could put that in there. And then restart the caves at a level. It's kind of odd. It's actually level two, but this is only an enchantment level one. So what we're doing is kind of level zero. And if we were to activate this, it would be a little harder and be kind of level one or level two, whatever way you want to look at it. But that's that. Um, but I haven't noticed any significant changes. Ooh, you can actually open it. This chest. We can open a Wanikia. What about no? What about Kuskab? Oh, or Talibak, Sorry, we were one short. And another nice thing is that we can actually leave our tributes, if you weren't aware, in the uh, totem and kind of accumulate them that way. So it makes it nice. Let's open a Wanikia chest and see. This is the chest. So normally this chest kind of like lower tier um, weapons, guns, and armor. This one was more of the, um, the tribal stuff. And then obviously this one, a little higher tier weapons and armor and stuff. So, so does this still have all the tribal stuff? Ooh, we had an uncommon tube. We'll grab those out. The uncommon tube we shall open right now. I'm not going to bring this back to my base. We'll just keep stockpiling that stuff. But here, what do we get? We get the bare fur pants. So we got up to level 6. Remember what I was saying earlier. At level 5, there's predetermined increases in defense. In this case warmth attack speed but once you get to level five every blueprint above that that you get for that particular item and in this case increases our defense by plus one that's what i say we can get this armor way up there which then begs the question what do the developers have in store for us the fact that we can increase the defense and the damage of our guns, weapons, all weapons, not just guns, uh, and armor, they must be planning something pretty epic at some point. So, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, Alright, we'll grab the full durability stuff for now. We will bring a lot of this stuff home, like I said. Here we go. And my dude's getting thirsty, so we need to go take care of that. Um, well, that's it for today, folks. That's the cave number one for the Spirit Caves. I will continue making my way through cave two, three, and four. And uh, maybe upload another one of the caves. If not, don't worry. We'll get to them eventually. And I will be picking up the, the stuff, the good stuff, right? Tin ore, I really don't need. And do I still have, yeah, see, that's a seal level four. We do have a piece sitting here. Oh, we actually have one Talibak. Let's get in there. We were missing one. Let's get in there, pop open, presumably the best reward chest all game you guys you guys just, just just know how to irritate me stupid pop-ups let's uh yeah 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 i want to open this chest see what's in here because if there are any tier five items this would be the chest, in my opinion, that would give us some. I don't know. They say we can upgrade our stuff to tier 5, but we just don't know how to get any of this stuff. Wow. 
that's absolute garbage for that chest. Dang. That used to be the best chest. Uh, we get ourselves a dueling pistol. Hey, okay, 250 damage. Eh. Wow. Wow. Ooh. All right. How many do we need for this? We need 35. I don't think we had 35 top side. I do have it at my base. But what we could maybe do, run back and get the 35, come back, pop open that chest. Then you guys would at least be able to see all those different chests. What you got, my friend? We got 12. Nothing in here. None in there. And none in there. All right. Give me a second. I'm going to run back to my base. I'm going to grab 35. Uh, what are they? I keep forgetting what they're called. Uh, they are called. They are called. They are called. Goose cap. And I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. All right. I'm back. I got the 35 loose cabs and we're gonna head back down into the caves and uh, double check this last chest again I was disappointed by that final chest the, uh, the Talibak that was actually quite poopy compared to usual but hey it is what it is so we got a top off of this. Oh, and what do we have here? Maybe they switch stuff around? I doubt it. Huh. Hmm. Wow. So, what is in this chest? Right? This used to be this chest. So now, they just basically give us a whole bunch of basic resources. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. Well, we got two more tubes. Let's open these bad boys up. Bang. Springfield. Level six. Colt Walker. Level seven. And now, I do need to mention that these are... The levels that we will craft these items at. If you find these items out in the wild, they are not guaranteed to be these levels. So, right, the cold walker, we click on that. If I craft it, it'll do 415 damage. The most that we could find in the wild if we ever found one in the wild, would be a level five. And that would be 413 damage. But if we find it in the wild, it can vary between a level one and a, and a level five. So it's kind of a way to also incite us to uh, craft our own weapons and, and armor and things like that. So we'll take all of that. So we've just emptied all three chests. There's nothing left here. I will come back at a later time, clear out that final room, and bring all that stuff home. So, folks, um, I, yeah, I mean, meh. Uh, the loot's not great. Um, I thought they were going to, when they said they, they rebalanced the rewards and all that stuff, I was hoping that they were going to buff it, not nerf it. So they buffed some of it, like the chests in the zone, in, in the cave. Uh, that a little bit better, a little higher tier stuff. But the final three chests were absolutely a garbaggio. So the big chest, the Talabak, the one that you need 50 or 40 of, that used to be an awesome chest. It 
want to get that one every time. Then the Talabak, the last one we just opened, is now the Gloose Cab, Cab, is now the Talabak. Um, the Wanikia is kind of meh. So, uh, yeah, they did buff some but they also nerfed a lot so well, that's that at least you guys got to see all three different chests and the cave itself hasn't really gotten any harder or easier it stayed about the same um, and I will just keep working on that but on that note folks I'm gonna wish you all a great rest of the day morning or evening wherever you are take care <laughs>